Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, uh, advice, and uh, we are told by Hazal, our sages, that this world, the world we live in, is merely uh, a vestibule, um, an antechamber, a passageway, a hallway to the real world, the world to come. But the things we can achieve in this world go to our credit in the world to come. Um, Harav Yitzhak Zilberstein tells a story that uh, brings this out. Um, there was a, a mashgiach, a, a kosher supervisor uh, in a meat processing plant. Full disclosure, I am a mashgiach in a meat processing plant. No connection between me and the story, however. But this Mishgiach uh, arranged, there were many Jews who worked uh, in this processing plant. This one was in Israel. And uh, he would arrange for Mincha afternoon services to be said. Well, one day they were a man short. One of the Mashgichim, uh, one of the other kosher supervisors, one of the Shochtim, one of the slaughterers, they weren't there that day. So he goes out to find a tenth man for the minion, because he had to, he had to say Kaddish for his father. It was a yard site. He had to say Kaddish. He needed a tenth man. Yeah, can't do it without. He goes outside, and he sees a, a Jewish man, a farmer, apparently uh, not observant and not uh, lettered as a scholar. Didn't know all that much. He said, could you please come in? We, we need a tenth man for a minion. The guy barely knew what he was talking about. He says, remember, we need a tenth man. We need a censor. We need a, a, a minion. I have to say Kaddish uh, for my father. It's my father's yard site. The guy barely knew what he was talking about. But he was persuaded to go in and to join the minion. Now, a little later on, another man showed up. And he was able to, you know, he was free of his obligation, but he stuck around anyway to the end. He promised and he would. Goes on his way. Ten years go by. This Mishgiach, the, the kosher supervisor, now has a, a he's working in Bnei Barak. Um, this is uh, close to the eastern part of Tel Aviv, near Ramat Gan, where my, my daughter used to live. Was, I would go, in Ramat Gan, I would go shopping in Bnei Barak. He's in Bnei Barak, a very religious uh, neighborhood, and he has a dream. This simple Jew, this farmer, comes to him in his dream. And he says, you know, I was never an observant guy. I was Duff Gafry. I was an Amarar. I didn't, I didn't know much of religion. But when I got to Shemaim, when I got to heaven, that one incident, when I not only joined Kaddish, made the minion, but stuck around till the end, I was given an enormous amount of credit for that. So much so that I was given permission to ask a favor of someone. And I'm asking a favor of you, he says in the dream. I have a son who, like me in life, is totally unobservant. His name is such and such. And he lives in, in a certain neighborhood of Jerusalem. Um, please go find him. I died a month ago. Please find my son. This is his name. This is the neighborhood. Ask around. Find him. Try to convince him to say Kaddish for me. He's the only son I have. He's the only one who could do it. Please. Mashgiach wakes up, takes a bus to Yerushalayim, takes the bus to, the, to Jerusalem, looks around this certain neighborhood, asks around, asks around, asks around. Finally, he finds this young man, this boy. And he says, is your name so-and-so? Is your father so-and-so? Did he die about a month ago? He says, yes, yes, yes. Your father appeared to me in a dream. 
and he asked me to come to you, to find you, and to convince you to say Kaddish for him. And the young man says, what? are you kidding me? Like, my father asked that? He's completely, he says, yeah, yeah, I know. But you're going to have to trust me on this one. I met your father. In fact, he was able to make a minion so that I could say Kaddish for my father. And now he's asking me to return the favor for you, please. Say Kaddish for your father. And they weren't far from a, a religious neighborhood. They were able to find a minion. And the, the Mishgiach stood next to the young man. And they recited Kaddish for uh, the farmer, for the, uh, for the father. This is the kind of merit that a person has been given in the next world for doing one mitzvah. It's doing one good deed, one meritorious religious act. Imagine what we get from a lifetime of doing these mitzvahs, these commandments, these good deeds, helping people, doing honoring your parents, um, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, um, burying the dead. These things that uh, cause us to emulate the Creator. Can we even begin to imagine the awesome reward that awaits us, not so much in this world, but in the real world, once we go through that passage, when we get to the world to come, oil on a bowl. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.